Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I perm my eyelashes at home. Um, last week, I shared with you guys how I grew my eyelashes. So this week, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I keep them very, very curly. If you guys don't know what eyelash perming is, it's basically a way to keep your eyelashes curled for a really long time. Eyelash perming usually lasts, um, the curl holds for like about two months. Um, and then you would have to do it again. It's basically the same thing as when you perm your hair. However, the chemicals are different, so eyelash perming is a lot more chemical friendly. Yeah, so eyelash perming is really, really safe. You know, just don't get it in your eyes, you know. I will be showing you guys a step-by-step -step on how to do it yourself. Um, so you don't have to go and, you know, pay 90 bucks to get them done by a professional who, you know, maybe, you know, they mess them up and you pay 90 bucks and so what are you gonna do now? People do advise you to get it done by a professional but that's because they want money. So I'm gonna show you guys the kit that I use. I purchased this one on Amazon. It's kind of dirty, it's okay, I've had it for a while. It's called the Eyelash Perming Kit Professional Lash Lift Kit. Um, I bought it off the seller Pinksy and it was $20 and it still is $20. So now I'm gonna show you guys how it looks inside. But here it has three bottles of the first solution, it has three bottles of the second solution, two bottles of the oil, and two bottles of the cleanser. Right here it has your shield. Th these are the kind the professionals use. It also has different size shields. For example, this is the smallest size it has, and this is the, um, the medium-ish size. Um, it's a little smaller than the size small shield I will show you right now. And this is the glue it comes with in the kit. The smallest size shield, as you can see, is I've already used a lot of them. This was when my eyelashes were a lot shorter. So these are already pretty sticky. You can just pull them off and put them on your eyelid. It also comes with a shield a little bit larger. These are um, also already pretty sticky. Pretty sticky, is that a word? So these you also pull off and you put them on your eyelid. It just comes with shields of a bunch of different sizes. So the one that I use the most now is the size small shield. It also comes with a medium size shield. It's not focusing, that's okay. And it comes with two of the size large shields. I really like this kit because, you know, it has different size shields. So if you have short eyelashes or medium size eyelashes or long eyelashes or extremely long eyelashes, it does not matter what size your eyelashes are. This kit has your size. You have a variety of different size shields, you have glue, you have a ton of product, and it's only 20 bucks, and you purchase it on Amazon, and it has lasted me for over a year so if you guys are interested in purchasing an eyelash lifting kit I definitely 100% recommend this one I'll leave the link down below if you guys are interested you can just um, click on it and it'll, it'll take you to the page I will explain to you guys a step-by-step -step on how to perm your eyelashes at home right now Before we begin, you're going to need some tools that don't come in the kit. You're going to need toothpicks, you're going to need a couple q-tips, you're going to need something to comb your eyelashes with, and you are going to need two napkins to wipe the product off. So before you begin to perm your eyelashes, you're going to need to make sure you have a clean face because you won't be able to wet your eyelashes for 24 to 48 hours. Otherwise, the perm won't work the way it's supposed to and your eyelashes won't be as curly as you would want them to be. So before I begin, I'm showing you guys what my eyelashes look like now. I haven't permed my eyelashes in about two months and some of the lashes have started to lose its curl. Some of them are still holding, however, it's not as curled as I would want them to be. So now I will show you guys a step-by-step -step on how to perm your eyelashes at home. So to start off, you're going to take your glue and you're going to take the size shield of your preference. I'm going to take the size small of the silicone shield. You're also going to get a toothpick and the first thing you're going to do, you're going to open your glue. I struggled a bit, but once you open it, you're going to apply it on your eyelid. Once you apply the glue on your eyelid, you're going to take your shield 
and you're gonna put it on top of the glue and you're gonna try and get it as close as you can to the edge of your eyelid without overlapping the lashes. Once you have the shield stuck to your eyelid, you're gonna take your glue again and this time you're gonna apply the glue on top of the eye shield and you're gonna take your toothpick and with the toothpick you are going to start to lift up your eyelashes and stick them to the shield. While doing this part, you have to be super super careful not to force any of your eyelashes to the point where you pull them off. So while you're gonna be combing them, you're gonna want to divide your lashes evenly spread on the shield because the way you have them formed that is how they are going to perm once you apply your products it's a lot more easier to use a toothpick when lifting up the eyelashes because it serves as a comb and it evenly spaces the eyelashes so the trick to being successful at perming your eyelashes at home is to do one eye at a time if you guys have seen eyelash perming videos you guys have seen how when they go get them done in the salon they do it two eyes at a time however because you're doing it yourself you can only do one eye at a time or else you will not be able to see So once you have your eyelashes combed and spread out, um, if you take a look at yourself in the mirror, you're gonna look super cute. But um, So then you are going to take your first solution. You're gonna open the bottle, you're gonna get a new toothpick, and you're gonna put the toothpick inside the bottle and get a nice thick amount. And after that, you are going to apply the product on your eyelashes. Um, the ones you stuck to the eye shield. You want to apply the product all over your eyelashes from top to bottom. You also want to apply the product as close as you can to the root. That way you get maximum length um, on your eyelashes and the curl looks a lot more natural because the curl starts from the root. So once you apply the first product, it has to set for 15 minutes and you do only have one eye so whatever you do during those 15 minutes, hopefully it doesn't involve having two eyes because you don't have two eyes. Once those 15 minutes are up, you're going to take your q-tip and you're going to take your paper towel and using your q-tip, you're going to wipe the product off your eyelashes in an upward motion and clean it on the paper towel. Once you remove all of the product and you notice some of the eyelashes start to unstick, you can go ahead using your glue and your toothpick to stick them back onto the shield. Once you stick all of your eyelashes back on, you're going to go ahead and take your second solution and I'm using the same toothpick I used for the first solution. I just cleaned it off and you're going to dip it inside the bottle and get a good amount and you're going to apply it the same way you applied solution number one, um, all over the lashes and as close as you can to the root. Once you finish applying the product, the second solution has to set for 10 minutes and meanwhile you wait, you can totally like do your homework or not, jam to your favorite song, look at the yearbook, oh look I found myself, I'm so cute, oh my dancing skills aren't that cute. Or if you don't want to do anything, you can go on YouTube, search up my YouTube name and you know look at all the videos I have uploaded, like and subscribe guys if you haven't yet, come on. Once the 10 minutes are up, you're going to take a new q-tip and the same paper towel and you're going to remove the product the same way you removed the first product. The q-tip, you're going to brush it in an upward motion and you're going to wipe the product onto the napkin. Once you wipe all of the product off, you're going to go ahead and take a new toothpick and you're going to take your third solution which is the oil and you're going to dip your toothpick in and you're going to apply the oil all over the eyelashes the same way you apply solution 1 and 2. Okay. 
Once you apply the oil, it has to sit for 5 minutes and what I like to do during those 5 minutes is start to unstick the eyelashes with my toothpick. The purpose of the oil is to soften the eyelashes and moisturize them. Also, the oil makes it a lot easier to unstick the eyelashes from the shield. Once you unstick all of your eyelashes from the eye shield, you're going to go ahead and grab one of the corners of the eye shield and very slowly and carefully you're going to unstick the eye shield from your eyelid. Then you're going to take your eyelash brush and you're going to brush out any of the glue or any of the product that was left behind after you unstuck your lashes from your eye shield. And voila, you are done with your first tie. Can you see the difference? It's super cute. Now that I've shown you guys how to do one eye at a time, I'm gonna quickly go ahead and do my second eye. And when I'm done, I'll show you guys the before and after. So the good thing about eyelash perming compared to any other, you know, um, eyelash curling method, for example, the other methods that I know of are the eyelash curler and the eyelash extensions. The eyelash perming kit compared to the eyelash curler, it doesn't damage your eyelashes by thinning them. When you curl your eyelashes, you're bending them, you're thinning them in one area, and also the eyelash curler has um, a little rubber piece that protects your eyelashes from like being chopped off. Some eyelash curlers that may be cheap. The rubber piece can come off and you don't notice it. You try curling your eyelashes and you chop them off. The eyelash perming kit doesn't thin your eyelashes or chop them off. If anything, it makes them look a lot more longer than what an eyelash curler would. Because an eyelash curler, you can only go a certain length down your eyelashes. Because if you get too close to the root, you have the possibility of pinching your eyelids. Because of that, your eyelashes don't have that natural curl. Instead, they have like this like chopped curl because you can't go that deep with your eyelash curler. And an eyelash curler, if you have you know, straight hair and your eyelashes are straight as well, if you try applying mascara, then in many cases, your eyelashes just fall back to being straight. Versus if you use the eyelash perming kit, the eyelashes hold its shape when you perm them and apply mascara. Also, the eyelash perming kit compared to eyelash extensions. I've never gotten um, eyelash extensions. However, I have read about it because at one point I was like, oh, maybe I should get eyelash extensions. I did my research and found that eyelash extensions actually damage your real eyelashes. 
your eyelashes don't grow back as long and as dark and as healthy. The eyelash priming kit doesn't do that. The eyelash priming kit, its chemicals are super, super safe. Um, or at least this one is. Eyelash curler, eyelash extensions, neither of them are as good as the eyelash priming kit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope you guys try the kit if you guys want to. Um, it is my favorite kit. And I think I covered everything. If I didn't cover everything in this video, um, feel free to message me. I do have my Instagram links um, in my about page on my YouTube channel. Go ahead, you know, and message me whatever you want. Like, hey, you know, you didn't make this super clear. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I'll help you out right now. Next week, I will be posting again. And I hope the eyelash perming and the DIY on how to grow your eyelashes, you know, you guys combine them and you guys have these wonderful eyelashes please don't forget to like and subscribe guys leave comments in the comment section down below if you guys have any concerns you know you can always message me or you can leave it in the comments um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching you guys are super super great see you guys next time bye